Hello students, I am your 10 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 10 minutes. Are you ready? The next lesson that I will be teaching you is factoring polynomials with perfect square trinomial. Before we will start the lesson, there are things that we should know, or mathematical concept that we should remember. That is squaring a binomial, we all know that, in squaring a binomial, we should follow these steps. 1. Square the first term. 2nd, twice the product of first and last terms. And lastly, square the last term. Let us take this example, the square of the quantity, x plus 3 quantity. For first step, the square of x, is equal to x squared. For second step, 2 times x, times 3, that is 6x. For the third step, the square of 3, is equal to 9. So the square of the quantity, x plus 3 quantity, is equal to x squared, plus 6x, plus 9. Now, let us try another examples. What is the square of the, quantity of y, plus 1 quantity? That would be y squared, plus 2y, plus 1. What about the square of the, quantity of m, minus 4 quantity. The answer is m squared, minus 8m, plus 16. And how about, the square of the, quantity of 2h, minus 6 quantity. The answer would be, 4h squared, minus 24h, plus 36. The resulting product when you square a binomial, is a perfect square trinomial. It means that, we are going to find the factors of square of binomial to determine if the given trinomial expression can be factored out using perfect square trinomial. Just remember this, the middle term is equal to the twice the product of the principal square root of the first and last terms. If the condition accepted, you can now factor the expression using perfect square trinomial. Here are the steps in finding the factors of a perfect square trinomial. First, we need to identify the principal square root of first and third terms of the trinomial. Second, examine the middle term if it has either positive or negative. If the middle term of the trinomial is positive or negative, then the factors will have a plus and minus sign respectively. Third, Write out your factors by applying the following identities. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the square of the quantity a plus b quantity. Or we can write it in this way, the quantity a plus b quantity times the quantity a plus b quantity. Or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the square of the quantity a minus b quantity or we can write it in this way the quantity a minus b quantity times the quantity a minus b quantity now let us try this example x squared plus 12 x plus 36 first check the condition the middle term is equal to the twice the product of the principal square root of the first and last terms the principal square root of x squared is x the principal square root of 36 is 6 the middle term is 12 x it is equal to twice the product of x and 6 since 2 times x times 6 is equal to 12 x we can use factoring perfect square trinomial first we need to identify the principal square root of the first and third terms of the trinomial. The principal square root of x squared is x. The principal square root of 36 is 6. Second, examine the middle term if it has either positive or negative. If the middle term of the trinomial is positive or negative, 
then the factors will have a plus and minus sign respectively. Since our middle term is positive 12, we will be using the identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the square of the quantity a plus b quantity. Or we can write it in this way, the quantity a plus b quantity times the quantity a plus b quantity. So the factors of x squared plus 12x plus 36 using the format or identity given to us is equal to the square of the quantity x plus 6 quantity or we can write it this way the quantity x plus 6 quantity times the quantity x plus 6 quantity now let us try this example for r squared minus 12 r plus 9 first check the condition the middle term is equal to the twice the product of the principal square root of the first and last terms the principal square root of 4 r squared is 2 r the principal square root of 9 is 3 the middle term is 12 r it is equal to twice the product of 2 r and 3 since 2 times 2 r times 3 is equal to 12 r we can use factoring perfect square trinomial now let us proceed to the steps step 1 we need to identify the principal square root of the first and third terms of the trinomial the principal square root of 4 r squared is 2 r the principal square root of 9 is 3 second examine the middle term if it has either positive or negative. If the middle term of the trinomial is positive or negative, then the factors will have a plus and minus sign respectively. Since our middle term is negative 12, we will be using the identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the square of the quantity a minus b quantity. Or we can write it in this way the quantity a minus b quantity times the quantity a minus b quantity so the factors of 4 r squared minus 12 r plus 9 is equal to the square of the quantity 2 r minus 3 quantity or we can write it this way the quantity 2 r minus 3 quantity times the quantity 2 r minus 3 quantity that's it we are done in factoring polynomials with perfect square trinomial. See you next video.